It's week 15 of the National Football League, and tonight's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the reigning NFC champs and the Bills, next on EA Sports. Winter is just around the corner as you get a look at Bill Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Seattle Seahawks. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Still scoreless here in the first, but a third down situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a bolt down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking. A scoreless game here early on, but how much longer will that hold up as we've got action in the red zone on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And he's got it caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there. His 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Seahawks have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. So this offense looking at a second and four. The football inside the red zone. Second and four. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First 
They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation, and sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. A fourth down coming up. Decision time now, as this would be a long field goal attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, this phase is not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, and this defense has had its share of problems getting guys to the ground. And here's another example. They never should have allowed this play to gain as many yards as it did, but poor tackling early in the play led to big yardage after the fact. And the next-gen stats CD, it shows us he covered better than 20 yards after the initial contact was made. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Looking to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Touchdown! It's complete. 
Will Disley with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Six points possibly in the cards. We've got a red zone situation looming. First and goal, the football at the seven. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand. They're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? A second down play results in a loss of two yards. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk up, touchdown. Keep doing it. touchdown baby. DK Metcalf, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index. Well, field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. Now Allen, got to have this one. Going for it all. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down, and the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And, Charles, he's already north of 300 yards in this game. And while watching him work, I just keep coming back to what a magic number that is. We've almost made it routine, haven't we? 300 yards, wow, what a great day. We'll understand what goes into that. A field goal does him no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. One final try here for Allen, and he picks up the first. Victory here for Seattle, and they've got to feel good about this performance. I think you'd agree, matched up against a top five defensive unit in the league, and they pretty much had their way. Yeah, that was that was the interesting part about it because normally when we see this defense play, they have their opportunities and they make their plays, don't they? They knock them back on their heels, they take the ball away, they, they change field position. In this case, what you said is so apt. They had their way with them, took it to them, and knocked them back on their heels and surprised the heck out of them. So for the Seahawks, they're not going to go quietly here as the win moves them now to 8-6 and six on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Meanwhile, for the Bills, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins.